Hello and welcome. My name is Bashir Fadal, but on behalf of LearnITCoursesOnline.com, as well as LearnJobsOnline.com, I'd like to thank you. We do know that you have a variety of choices of IT training, and you've chosen us, so we really appreciate that and hope that you enjoy it. Thank you. Salesforce assignment rules. So let's suppose that we're a real estate agency and we have branches in California and branches in New York. And we went to the MLS, which is kind of the center area or database where we can buy leads, people who are interested in buying homes. We bought a thousand leads. 500 are interested in buying homes in California and 500 are interested in buying homes in New York. And we have a team of 10 salespeople or realtors, five in New York, five in California. So as we load 500 leads that are interested in buying properties in New York, should we wait and put the load of the work on our realtors to search and find who wants to buy in New York if the realtor is in New York? And the same thing with the people in California? Or can we use assignment rules? Which basically is a way within Salesforce, as we will see, where as we're loading our leads or even cases, it could automatically route those that belong to New York to the New York realtors and the other 500 that belong to California that are routed to the California team. So this, in a nutshell, is what the importance and value of the Salesforce assignment rules are. Creating and maintaining Salesforce lead assignment rules. In this section, we're going to learn about what is an assignment rule, how can we create and manage Salesforce lead assignment rules, and why should we create assignment rules in Salesforce? So the first question then is, what is an assignment rule? Assignment rules are used to assign leads and cases automatically to assign users based on a criteria. There are two types of assignment rules in Salesforce, which are number one, lead assignment rules, and number two, case assignment rules. So what are Salesforce lead assignment rules? Salesforce lead assignment rules define the administrators to assign the lead to users and queues based on a criteria. A lead can be generated either by manually or generated from the web. What are case assignment rules? Salesforce lead assignment rules define the administrators to assign a case to users and queues based on a criteria. As such, a case can be generated manually, generated from the web to case, or also from email to case. How to create Salesforce lead assignment rules. So creating and managing Salesforce lead assignment rules are very important. Let us see together how to create lead assignment rules in Salesforce. To create an assignment rule, we'll log into Salesforce and navigate to Setup, then Build, then Customize, then Lead, then Lead Assignment Rules. Or we can simply go to Setup and search for Lead Assignment Rules, and then click on Lead assignment rules as shown. So now we'll click on new button to create the new Salesforce lead assignment rule. This is where we enter the rule name. Then the assignment rule must be activated as shown and then click on the save button. There are only one standard rule in our Salesforce. If we create new assignment rules in Salesforce, the first standard rule will be automatically deactivated. At a single point of time, only one assignment rule is active. For a single rule, there can be multiple rule entries. When creating a rule entry, we always have to consider three important factors, which are the order number, the criteria, and who it will be assigned to and then we click on save.
So now we're moving forward to see how we can create a new rule entry in Salesforce lead assignment rules. In Salesforce, we can create many rule entries for a single assignment rule. So we're going to click on the new button to create a new rule entry. So now first, we're going to enter the sort order as number one. And then number two, we're going to enter the rule criteria. Number three, we're going to select the user or queue to assign the lead to. Select the user and email template. And then we click on save button. So we have created two rule entries with order number one and two successfully. In this Salesforce lead assignment rule, generated leads will be automatically assigned to either the country United States or the country United Kingdom. So now we have covered what is an assignment rule and how to create Salesforce lead assignment rules. Likewise, case assignment rules are similar to lead assignment rules. With this, we come to the end of the session and we'd like to thank you for joining us. And also don't hesitate to visit our website at learnitcoursesonline.com to leave your feedback and reviews. And also look at our events. We have a lot of free sessions and we'd be more than happy to have you join at any given time and also sign up with us for our newsletter. Thank you and have a wonderful time.